moisture there. That said to do it a little bit proud, so you want something to sand. It's quite the consistency is quite runny, isn't it? I was expecting it to be more like plasticine. Hmm. We could wait until it hardens a bit. Mm -hmm. First bit of actual progress that makes it look better, not worse. Concentrating. Mm -hmm. Trying to get it in the groove here. Trying to get in the groove. In the crack here. Get your groove on. I've just got back from work. I didn't film it because obviously I was at work, but Andy's fiberglass this bit. We've been waiting for warm weather. Tomorrow's meant to be sunny too, so we're trying to crack on. We want to get this ready for Christmas, but it's only six weeks to go. Is gonna do this bit now. All right, let's not make this awkward. <laughs> Touch your toes, please. <laughs> Facing away from me. Oh. You've missed your calling. Put hairs on your chest, this stuff. Whoa. Cheaper than export. I don't know about that. Not from this hardware store. Yeah, true. Alright. Here at Andrew's Boatyard. We use templates to make sure we cut out the exact amount required. Andy's boatyard or Andy's make up as you go along? Yeah, that one. Andy's boatyard, bottle shop. Distracted, I was looking at a bee. <laughs> Pretty. Was it blue last time? I thought it was green last time. Or is it green when you mix it? Uh, it changes colour with the hardener. Uh, technical here. I remember because I just did that last set. Oh. It's 
going to say, feel free to let us know if we're doing this right. And then I thought, even if we're not, it's too late now. Is that a prob? Nope. <laughs> I know a few of you have said to use acrylic. What's this one? Resin? No, nah, they've said to use epoxy. Epoxy. Because I think that epoxy is stronger. Um, but we can't get that here. And we'd already bought this, so... <laughs> This is our first time fiberglassing. I don't think that this portion of the hull is um, going to be particularly stressed while we're underway. Um, but hey, I could be wrong. I'm sure there's many out there with far more experience that be more knowledgeable on this. We'll find out how this goes. Well, gee. Hopefully not the hard way. <laughs> That's what we should call this channel, the hard way sailing. Yeah. That's not actually going to be sailing anymore. Yeah. The hard way motor cruising on a sailboat. <laughs> you know those channels that they, um, they're a sailing channel, but all they ever do is work on the boat and stuck on the hard and fixing it up, doing the refit. We're a bit of a hybrid, aren't we? Because we're not, we've got a sailboat that we're motoring. Yeah. But we don't live on the water, we trailer it to the water. Oh, is that right? Oh, that looks the wrong way. That looks I better. think we should just cut it a bit bigger. That looks better. Oh, that's what we're getting now. Yeah, that's... Oh, is that right? I think so, because you cut there for it to fit in there. It's too late now. Too late now. I don't know, I need some more resin, you know? Is that how much you used last time? Uh, or is it just drying quicker? Just like, it looks like it's getting a bit light on, that's yeah. all. Do you have to brush or can you pour a little bit on? From the YouTube Academy where <laughs> I learned to fiberglass, I saw people like dabbing. They put down resin first, stick mm -hmm. it to it, and then they use, they want all this to go through the chopped strand. Right. Or the matting, I should say. It's all about that dab. Dab, 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 baby. And not too many air bubbles. And what oh, okay. else? What else? What else? Yeah, you want like a good amount of resin to go. You don't want that. The bubbles. Bubbles equals bad. It's not really going to stick out, is it? No. Not so much. Did that happen last time? Uh, a little side? bit, yeah. But then we exchange some terse words <laughs> and the negotiation begins. I think you will have enough. My expert opinion. <laughs> you and your toxic positivity, Melissa. That's my job. <laughs> oh yeah. Best I can do. I don't know if it's any good. Good job. Oh, I think. Oh, I need to get over there. Cool. Love your safety ladder there. Yeah. Oh. Why? A couple of little bits. What's that from? Uh, something there. Oh, like a. Is there like a little hook there? Yeah, something like that. 
Very specific, aren't I? <laughs> My wealth of sailing experience. If in doubt, just keep shoving more in. It's the man motto. It's going somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> just the inside of our boat. Yeah, it's probably gluing the hatch shut. <laughs> <laughs> this anchor locker. Yeah. That one that's closest to you doesn't look too bad. Alright, a tiny little thing of fiberglass is probably okay. a good idea. Sure. That working better? Last time we had about half that amount and we did a two centimetre long. 50 parts fill it a one part hard now. That's probably heaps. That's yeah. heaps. We're actually a bit goofy. Yeah. I think it'll start to go off pretty quick though. Did last time. Yeah. It's kind of tricky to like get it. Mm. Oh, I've mixed up way too much, haven't I? <laughs> Massively overestimated it. Oh well. Yeah. Well, I actually need to get it like in there. Mm. This is going to be tricky to shape, too. Yeah, that's what I was saying. We might need a bit firmer so that. I think like I'm, plasticine so you can mold it. I think I'll need it proud too. Yeah. So that I can sand it. Mm. Because obviously I'll be wanting to take volume off. Mm. Is it getting firmer? Mm. Yeah it is. It's going off. Oh I think it's set. Oh Look. Jesus. That was quick, wasn't it? There was a lot of hardener in there. Mm. Yeah, I don't think. I can't even use that. Yeah, that one's. Oh, jeez. Alright. Oh. Next video, we'll be getting our windows back again and we'll be installing them. We all can't wait to be out on the water again.